Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. It's my fault. I should have listened to you. Sarah's mixed up somehow with this psycho Damon Merrick. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe, but I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. I, I think he wanted to scare us, so he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that how it became violent? When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? I, I don't know. Maybe he's seen her before. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it. But... Then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something. But when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. What if... Rachel still wants to meet Sarah. After all this, I'm hoping she'll finally see reason. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> hey. Steph. How's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Drew. How's your knee doing? Do they think it's gonna heal? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. It's too early to tell. Sorry to hear it. It's, it's all good. Hmm. <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. 
Pretty cool. Thanks. <laughs> just, uh, trying it out. Sometimes you've just got to do something new. Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. What happened? She got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking Merrick. Seriously? It, it wasn't because of me, was it? No. Somehow we've got our own shit with him now. That's crazy. Fuck that guy. I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Uh, I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Don't have too much fun now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Bye, Dad. See ya, Pops. Man. Maybe... I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Alright. I'm gonna head out. It was really great to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Yeah? Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. You bet. Hey. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. That's what James keeps saying. He's so strong in a crisis, you know? M my dad was like that. I'm sure he was. Just like his daughter. I just keep feeling like we were lucky. It, it could have gone so much worse, you know? I'm sure it would have been if you weren't there for her. I am so glad you and Rachel have found each other. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. You didn't have to bring me ice cream. Is that Samantha Myers? I feel bad. Holy shit. Is that Nathan Prescott? It wasn't your fault. Um, I'm a klutz. Oh, God. Nathan and Samantha together? What have I done? Dad, I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. My guardian angel. How are you? Not great. 
better with you here. Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. And I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost- You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here? I mean... I'm still mad at him. For everything he's done. But... It felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like, on Mount Hood. <laughs> Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. My mom. <laughs> so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But... <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. Are you sure? She could be completely different than you imagine. I'm sure. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is... Will you find her, please? You really want this. Don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number, maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. To your, your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe. For... Everything. Uh, hey, Elliot. Hey! Wait, your hair, it's different. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it, it's nice. I like your shirt, too. It, you never told me you were into cars. Guess you don't know everything about me. Uh, nice balloon, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, 
It's for Drew. Were you, were you just in there? I'm actually here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay, though. Well, that's good. God, I guess I'll stop by after I see Drew. She probably wants privacy. Oh. Right, of course. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. What? I don't even know what you mean. It's kind of weird that Rachel's being so private. Isn't it? No, it's really not. Chloe! I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? So what? So, obviously something is going on. I swear, man, everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Hello? Welcome to Shadyville. James is working with Damon Merrick? <sighs> Whatever is going on. I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? This must be what Damon was talking about. Better not touch that again. <sighs> Hold 
Holy shit. Fuck, that's Sarah. And she's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Does James even know what he's doing? Okay, I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? Hey. Elliot, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? Did you... Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe. What is... Ah! Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? Honestly, Elliot, you, you can judge me all you want, but it's pretty fucked up that you're here right now, and I don't have time for this. When? What? When will you have time? For me? You have all the time in the world for... for Rachel. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just... take a step back. No! You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You... you don't know what you're talking about first night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop, stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The for... next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get expelled. <sighs> I took the fall because I wanted to. Rachel tried to protect me. Yet somehow, it all worked out for her in the end, as usual. You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? S seriously, man. You, you need to shut the fuck up before- I've been quiet long enough. Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real. And I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot. I, I promise. No one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout. Hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened... Look, I, I hear you. I, I appreciate the concern. I don't think you do. Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. Elliot, please. I know you're upset, but- I'm not upset! I'm trying to help you. Can't you see I just want to help you? You're going to assault me now? That's how far you'll go to protect Rachel? This is what I'm talking about. 
No, you idiot. What the fuck? Better run, dickbag. Cops will be here any minute. Because Rachel got angry at her dad, who's been lying to her all her life, and he's still lying. Hey, being a dad's tough. That doesn't justify what he's done. I'm just saying, I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for Mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I just don't know anymore. That's what makes it so horrible. James Amber, the perfect dad, and James Amber, the scheming asshole, would act exactly the same around Rachel. Oh, sweetheart, you're a terrible liar, so I couldn't have been much better, right? Would you love me less? Of course not. You sound pretty sure, sweetheart. You were pretty sure Mom would never fall in love with someone like David, too. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. So how am I supposed to tell you anything? I wish you'd told me when you could have. You don't like the perfect relationship we had? I wish you'd lived long enough for us to fuck it up. No worry. My ride, my tunes. going in to face Damon Merrick. All for Rachel. Am I crazy? Hella crazy. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. I like the company. Besides, we don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real.
Is that blood? Frank? Frank! Shit, this is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture, so that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. After all, no one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? I've got your money right here. The money James owes you. How the fuck do you- Run! No one has to know. Just, just let her go and I won't say- <sighs> Talking's over. Leave her alone! Shut up. What the fuck? You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just... trying to help. <laughs> Get away from her! I said shut the fuck up! No! Go to your fucking happy place. Run. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now! What do I do with- Damon! What did you do? Ho 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 ho. I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. <laughs> Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. Sarah. Rachel. Your daughter. She.
Sarah? Chloe Price. <laughs> Where's Frank? Or, or Damon? Your friend, Frank, took care of Damon. You don't need to worry about them right now. Sit. Sarah, are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry for- Rachel can never know. What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did, hiring that thug, shooting me up with- <sighs> He's a piece of shit, and I promise that- Rachel can never know. Tell me why. Doesn't she deserve to know what her father did? No. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar! James <laughs> is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here, and you'll take that away from her. Forever. Don't you think the truth matters more? The truth? What's so great about the truth, Chloe? Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. No, you're not. You're stronger than you realize. You don't know anything about me. I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. I lost my father two years ago. How? Car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store, and a truck ran a red light, and that was it. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. You beat this before. You can beat it again. No. I can't. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home. Given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole and... and Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <laughs> he doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? 
You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? You don't have to make the same mistake twice. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please, tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Wait! I'll take care of her, you know. I believe you. Goodbye, Chloe. Hello? Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later? Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed? <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So... How did everything go? Rachel, I've got to tell you something. <sighs> I failed you. I couldn't find her. I'm so sorry. Funny. You seem so confident. I really thought you'd find her. Yeah. Me too. Maybe we can try tomorrow. M maybe she hasn't left town yet. Of course. I know wherever she is, she loves you very much. How do you know that?
because... Why should she be any different from the rest of us? <laughs>